Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is John. In this How To, I'll be discussing how to update Oracle Business Intelligence 11.1.1.6 to the latest patch set. I'll be giving you a brief introduction on the patch process as well as what pre-installation steps and installation steps you'll need to perform for the proper patching of the application. As Oracle updates its OBI technology, they release updates to their code base known as patches or patch sets. Patches are applied to releases. The current release of OBI is 11.1.1.6. In the past, Oracle has had two patches, 11.1.1.6.1 and 11.1.1.6.2. These patches were additive, meaning that 11.1.1.6.2 didn't include fixes from 11.1.1.6.1. The latest release is called a bundle patch and is also called 11.1.1.6.2, but it also has the suffix of BP1 for bundle patch 1. The bundle patch includes 11.1.1.6.1 and also it updates what was the 11.1.1.6.2 patch set. And in addition to fixing uh, certain bugs, it also includes two new features. Uh, one is the trellis chart and one is an updated view for the Oracle mobile client application. The previous standalone patch for 11.1.1.6.2 was deprecated when the bundle patch came out. The bundle patch set is comprised of a number of individual patches. They span the range of the entire application and include the Oracle Business Intelligence Installer, Real-Time Decisions, Oracle Business Intelligence Publisher, Oracle Business Intelligence ADF Components, Enterprise Performance Management Components, Oracle Business Intelligence, and lastly Oracle Business Intelligence Platform Client Installers and Map Viewer. In addition to these main patches, you'll also need to download and install an update for JDeveloper. To download the files, you'll need to go to the Oracle support website and navigate to the tab called Patches and Updates. In the search um, box, you'll need to put in the string Oracle BI Suite EE. You'll in need to indicate that the release that you're looking for is 11.1.1.6.2 bundle patch 1. Also, don't forget to in indicate what your operating system is. Once you hit the search button, you'll get a result set that looks similar to the results shown in the screenshot below on the right. They're numbered 1 of 2, two 1 of 7, 2 of 7, 3 of 7, etc. Um, so that you'll, because they are executed in a, in a particular order. So let's talk about what you'll need to do before you patch. You'll need to back up your um, Oracle Home BI Foundation server directory, Oracle Instance BI Foundation, Oracle BI Server Component Core Application uh, <coughs> OBS1 repository, which is essentially your, contains your repository itself, um, and um, also the directory containing the uh, map viewer web war file. Now let's talk about the installation. So the basic process is unzipping the files into uh, several full, uh, so to one folder containing several files um, and then in going into each file and running the patch command and then running another command to verify that the patch was applied correctly. <coughs> So let's discuss this. So first, stop all the BI system components, which are the BI system, 
which is the Oracle Process Manager running all the BI services, the WebLogic Managed Server, as well as the WebLogic Admin Server. You'll also want to clear all the files associated with the Oracle Catalog Manager binary cache, as shown below. In the Oracle BI home directory, you're going to want to unzip each of the Oracle BI bundle patch files into the subdirectory. So if you can see my path below, I have C middleware and then Oracle underscore BI. And this is where I've put all the individual folders for the each patch that I unzipped. Then you're going to want to open up a DOS prompt or go to a Linux command prompt. And I have given, given both, <clears throat> both below, the syntax is identical. Um, you're going to want to go to your middleware home directory, Oracle BI. So you would use uh, CD to change directory to this directory. And again, the command syntax is identical for both um, Windows and also for uh, Linux. So once you're in this directory, first thing you're going to want to do is set your environment uh, for each one of the variables below. So you need to have um, the path set up um, as indicated here. So with Linux and with uh, Windows, there's a slightly different uh, syntax and I've indicated each of the ones below according to each operating system. So while you have your uh, command prompt still open from the previous exercise of setting the paths, you're going to want to start to go into each one of those subfolders uh, again by changing the directory and then uh, once you're inside the directory you simply want to type in opatch and then apply and this will, uh, will actually apply the patch you'll you'll see your series of messages and then <clears throat> when the patch is done applying you'll see opatch succeeded as the final message uh, what you're going to want to do after you've applied the patch um, is then run another command called opatch is inventory um, and this will actually um, tell you confirm whether or not the uh, bundle patch was applied um, after this is done um, you're going to want to copy the BA publisher desktop 32 or and 64 uh, exe files um, as indicated below um, this is due to the fact that they're put in the wrong place um, and if a person had intended on downloading the tools from uh, the UI, they, it wouldn't work. If you backed up uh, the map viewer in a previous exercise, you'll have to go and uh, actually restore that file. Now, after you've done all these steps, you, you come to the point where you actually will go ahead and apply the JDeveloper patch. Um, you would go and search for the patch uh, 13952743 once again on Oracle support. Get the zip file um, and then follow the instructions in the readme file in order to install it. And the process is still the same. You're still going to the subfolder, um, although the, the um, folder itself is, is slightly different. Um, you'll be putting this in the Oracle common directory instead of the um, the BI directory that we had done the other patches in. Um, but the process is the same. You still type in opatch apply and then also validate it in the same way by running the subsequent command. Um, and then once all these steps are done, um, you'll restart um, all the um, WebLogic admin server, managed server, um, and that's the final step. Um, and to uh, make sure that the patch was applied correctly, you would then go and log into OBI, go to the administrators, uh, you'd log in as an administrator, go to the administrators link in the upper right hand corner, uh, and in, in this screen on the upper left you'd see what uh, version of the application you have there, and it should tell you that you're in, in the, the bundle patch version 11.116 BP1. So thank you for joining uh, and please visit our Performance Architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and Oracle Business Intelligence.